Hi, I'm just going to show you a quick way of measuring uh, crankshaft sensors. Uh, a fairly generic sensor across most of the range of different vehicles. Uh, it used to be fairly standard that you would expect around 800 ohms resistance on, um, on most inductive pulse sensors, but it's starting to change a little bit. The most important thing is, is that we've got some sort of measurable value in our sensor. So here's an example. Um, this sensor here is uh, out of a Corsa. It's come in with um, a couple of problems, poor starting, um, and the engine management light has been on. The diagnostic fault code has been reading that the uh, crankshaft sensor has been given a uh, intermittent value. So it's probably fairly, they do go wrong. It's, it's, it's fairly, a uh, fairly good bet to assume that there's a problem with the sensor. Um, but as a way of checking and trying to prove your theory, uh, it's an easy test to do. You get your multimeter, set it on ohms. This one here is set to about 2K. Um, we're, as I said earlier, I'm expecting around 800 to 1,000 ohms resistance. So we'll put a tester on this one and it's, uh, it, it's uh, given us nothing at all. Uh, we go up to you know, 2 million ohms, still nothing at all. So we can say that's, uh, that's open circuit. So what's happened inside there is the windings have burnt out, shorted across, burnt themselves out. Um, happens a lot, but a good way of uh, just confirming your diagnosis. We've got the luxury here of having another sensor. So let's put, put it back to 2K, read across our new sensor, and we've got 900 ohms. So that's what you'd hope to see. That's what we were expecting in the first place. That's what we've got. Uh, so it's a quick, easy way of proving your diagnosis. Uh, it takes a little bit of the guesswork out. And uh, good, hope it helps.